fellow Hooties, how's it going? It's Hoots! As it's nearing the end of September, it's time to put the cherry on top of the Dexter's Lab Sunday. Just not this one. That's for the final Dexter's Lab month review. I do wish I could cover more episodes, although that means I could cover them next September. Now the main episode I want to discuss is a special ego trip. A special that spans not only time, but multiverses. But before that, I want to talk about one short episode I really want to talk about. And I think we all know what that one is. Don't tell me you already want to talk about the- We're gonna talk about the pool episode. A better off a wet. <laughs> Where Dexter goes out of his way from stopping his dad from pissing him into the pool. And there's a very special moment that I want to talk about. A very important detail that most really don't talk about. And I really want to bring it up. And it's really important that I talk about- You just want to talk about my mom in a bikini! You don't have to lie to me and your fellow hoodies that you want to talk about that episode for that exact reason. You made that very obvious in the Muppet King review. Oh, come on, Dexter. Just let me talk about this. And I'll go by fast, and then we get to the real review. Please. <laughs> which, which, which would actually be the actual last episode of Dexter's Lab Month. Fine, we can talk about the pool episode if you want to talk about it so bad. So we can get to the real review. And put a proper end to the first Dexter's Lab Month. And I also agree that I wish that we were able to discuss more episodes. But, you are correct that we have next year to discuss them, and not going to lie, it'll be good to have the lab to myself again. Because I am, to be honest, it is weird to have you walk around my house when I thought that we agreed that you would stay in the lab, eating with us and pretending like you are a cousin from out of town. Oh, I'm sorry I wanted to get to know the family of the boy genius that created me, that took me from my home and made me into your image, only to throw me out to struggle on my own. And I wanted to do was get to know them. But considering the last episode of Dexter's Lab Month is around the corner, fine, I'll leave your fam alone. <laughs> now then, let's put on our sunblock and jump into Dexter's Lab Season 3 Episode 12, Better Off Wet. We start with Dee Dee, waking up, excited to get to the new in-ground pool as Dexter takes his sweet time looking like a chill celeb getting his stretch on. Well, of course I have to stretch. I don't want to cramp. And also, I need to get my sunblock. I burn easy. Dexter's mom asks if he's ready to get in the pool while he's still applying sunblock. And my word, my word. <laughs> need I say more? <laughs> Let's keep the great comments about my mom to a minimum, shall we, Hoots? Then again, it takes away from the humiliation of what happens later on in the episode. Go ahead, Hoots. Don't listen to me. <laughs> he sees his father lurking behind his mom, and he has flashbacks to the time where Dexter's dad pushes him in the pool. Ready to get in the water? Oh, that's okay, son. These things take time. And your time is up. <laughs> What? And I like how they use black and white for these segments. A very clever way of showing that this is from the past. Sort of a Hitchcock-esque, if you will. Then Dad appears behind me and scares me away, nearly escaping being pushed in. Dexter, what's the problem? It's just a little water. That's not the problem. It is being pushed in, that's the problem. It is being humiliated by my dad. I don't need him pushing me in the pool. I like to ease myself in the pool and tote around. If I'm not mistaken, you will also prefer to wade in the low end of the pools and float in the lazy river. Something that you clearly gotten from me. Even enjoying a nice corn dog as you float in said lazy river. I'm certain that if you were pushed in the pool, you would not have the same, Ooh, what is the problem? It's just water. Oh, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> We see the beautiful and expert display of diving by Dexter's mom and beckons Dexter to get in as he watches for his dad, seeing him approach as he makes another escape. That was another close call. Don't get me fooled by his casual walking. He would have done a sidestep and booted me in without me realizing. We get a full swim routine from Dee Dee, Lee Dee, and Mimi, distracting Dexter long enough for him to get close. Boy, they sure are talented. You said it. Thank goodness.
goodness that Dee Dee and her stupid friends were there so I could dance off them all the way to safety. But the same cannot be said for your mom. Again, need I say more? <laughs> really, Hoots? What? I'm sorry, but, but you know what? I'm gonna give a little hooted theory about why your mom has legs that can make Chun Li go. Okay, you're kind of overdoing it. <laughs> we see how she's always walking on her tippy toes, which I can only guess that she was a ballerina for most of her life. Considering how she can walk like that effortlessly, and how quick she can walk like that without discomfort or fatigue, walking like this for as long as she has and with her pace would definitely build leg strength to the point where her legs look like, well, like that. Since Dexter's dad can't push him in the pool, he'll have to settle for pushing his wife in, which Diddy attempts retaliation, only for him to move just in time for her to fall in. With that distracted, I took my chance and gave him some long-deserved payback. I guess I'm too smart for you, huh? Feeling encouraged, Dexter finally jumps into the pool as everyone cheers, only for something to be <laughs> left behind when he gets out of the pool. Thanks, Dad. I don't know why I was so shy of the water. <laughs> wow, Dexter. I get not wanting tan lines, but that's a little ridiculous. <laughs> oh, shut up, Hoots. It was an accident, and I was hoping that you would have been distracted talking about my mom like a weirdo, that you wouldn't be bothered to talk about the humiliating moment when my chunks were left behind when I got at the pool. <laughs> why wouldn't I talk about that funny moment? It was hilarious. Anyways, that was Dexter's Lab Season 3, Episode 12, Better Off Wet. Now, I know that this is a short review, but I want to at least get this review out before the last and proper final video for Dexter's Lab Month, which hopefully I can get out before Hoottober, as I have quite the lineup for the month of October, and I'll be live streaming the Silent Hill 2 remake on my Twitch while I make my reviews. I'll also be setting up a nice and spooky place for Hootober and my Hootoween reviews. I'll explain what I mean by Hootober and Hootoween. The last video for Dexter's Lab Month will be a big one, Ego Trip. And it's sure to be a review to give this year's Dexter's Lab Month a proper send off. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the episode and if it's part of your favorites of Dexter's Lab. As always, your fellow Hooties feedback and comments are always appreciated and I can't thank you enough for all of your continued support. I'll see you for the last Dexter's Lab Month review and until then, I'll see you when you visit Dexter's Lab and I give my hoot in the dark. Thanks for watching Dexter's Lab Month. Don't forget to like, share with your fam, and subscribe today to join the Parliament of Hoots. Don't forget to check out my other social medias like Twitch, where I livestream video games in between my reviews, Instagram, Twitter, and my PlayStation Network account. Check out these two videos, it'll take you to more of my content. And until then, I'll see you when you visit Dexter's Lab for Dexter's Lab Month. And I give my hoot in the dark.